In this week's video, I'm gonna show you how we went from this slide to this slide. Guess what? I have five PowerPoint slide templates that I want to give to you for absolutely free. Each and every slide is fully customizable to your needs. Whether you're presenting to your boss, your professor, your colleague, your employees, or your mother-in-law, you can use these five slides in any way that you'd like. And to get them, you only have to do just one thing. Click on the first link on the YouTube description and sign up to the SlideCal mailing list. Your welcome email will consist of a download link with these slides. Thank you and enjoy. Welcome back to the SlideCal Design a Good Slide series. We're on episode seven. My name is Yoyo and I'm here to help you make your slides amusing. This week's email reads, Hey Yoyo, first of all, thanks for your constant support and being an inspiration for all of us. I really appreciate that you put so much time and love in this side product of yours. Even though your videos help me a lot, I am sometimes still struggling with some different tasks. Right now, I'm preparing some template slides for a conference where I have to display the daily agenda or a timetable. I came up with a more creative approach for it, but I think there is still something missing and I need that little wow effect to make them stand out. I have attached my design below, maybe you can give it a try. Thanks in advance, Melanie K. Melanie, I have to say right off the bat, I am very impressed with this slide. First of all, thank you for making it SlideCal themed. It looks awesome. You know, if as a quote unquote teacher, if, if I helped you in any way, shape or form make this slide this is my moment of glory. This is where I'm like, oh, I've done it. I've, I've achieved my mission of helping people make better PowerPoint slides. This looks great. I'm very happy with that. And I'm gonna help you look for that wow effect. So Melanie, I'm gonna help you make this slide look amusing. Let's get started. Step one, format the title. All right, so first things first, I'm just gonna grab on this title and I'm gonna change the color of this to orange and I'm going to center it and I'm also going to rotate it this way. I also think we can change the font because impact is overused a lot so I'm going to change this to Mohave or Mohave. With the text box still selected I'm going to go to arrange, align and then align middle and I'm just going to move it right over here and you'll know why I'm doing that in just a second. Uh, I'm just going to increase the font size to around let's go with a hundred. Boom! Just obviously increase the size of that like that and I'm just gonna move this over here and uh, I think that we can actually play around with this just a bit more let's add a little underline effect by going to insert shapes and then clicking on this rectangle over here and just drawing one just like that I'm just gonna zoom in here I'm going to remove the outline and I'm gonna make this a lightish gray color just like this and I'm just going to move it close to our letters so Something over here, scroll down, and something over here. That looks great. Let's just make it thinner. And boom, alrighty. That is the first step completed. Step two, set the layout and add the agenda. Alrighty, so I'm gonna head over to insert. I'm gonna click on shapes and then I'm gonna click on this circle right over here. I'm just gonna draw the circle like this or something like that. And then I'm just going to make it orange like we did before. So I'll just go to eyedropper and do that. And I'm going to remove the outline. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to insert. I'm going to click on shapes. And then I'm going to click on this little shape over here, which is circle hollow. I'm going to draw that out like this. And I'm going to make it smaller than the circle we just made. I'm going to place it in the middle. And I'm just going to move this yellow circle to the left to make our oval thin. Something that looks like that and I'm gonna make this white. And remove the outline, just like this. I'm gonna group them up. Maybe just make it just a tad bigger. Move this up over here. And I'm just gonna press on Control D to duplicate it and move it down over here. And I'm gonna do that six times because Melanie has provided us with six little topics for her agenda right here. So one over here and then one, two, three. So obviously it's a bit too big for our slide. What we're going to do is just group them up, make it small so it can fit. So I think this looks okay, right over there. And I'm just gonna move this over here. And I'm gonna move this over there. Highlight everything. 
and go to home, arrange, align, and then I'm gonna click on distribute vertically. All right, cool. I'm gonna move that just slightly to the left like this. So with that then what we can also do is we can bring in a line from the top to the bottom just to show that everything is connected. Uh, and to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna duplicate this line first and then I'm gonna group up all of our circles together so it's recognized as just one shape. And I'll show you why I did that in just a bit. I'm going to bring in this line over here and I'm just gonna, you know, expand it so it's just like this. Maybe make it a bit thicker, not too thick, but just a bit. I'm gonna right click and click on send to back. And then I'm just gonna highlight both of our groups here, the one with all the circles and the one with the line. And then I'm gonna go to arrange, align, and then align center, just to make sure everything is perfectly aligned, just like this. I'm gonna group it up and we can just move it just slightly over there. And there we go, I think that looks very good. All right, so now we can actually start adding our agenda. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over here, copy this, paste it, and I'm gonna make this orange as well. I'm gonna change the font to the same font as our title, which is Mohab. And uh, I'm gonna center it. I'm gonna change the font size to around 24, I think. And I'm also going to click on this little feature that's not really used as often as one may want to. I think that Melanie used it, so good on you. Uh, it's actually to make your characters looser. Um, and what that means is basically you're just adding more space in between the characters. So I'm just going to click on this box over here. I'm going to click on the character spacing module right over here and just click on loose right there. And with that done, what I can do now is I can just bring that up over here. Just make sure it's all centered. Yep, there we go. And expand it like this. Boom. All right, awesome. And I'm just gonna make sure that I do this for all of them. So it's just a matter of me copy pasting later. So one over here, one over here. One over here, one over here, and one over here. And now I'm just gonna speed up the tutorial so I can just bring in the times for these text boxes. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna click on the first time box or text box that we just made over here. I'm just gonna press on Control shift and just move this to the left just like this, just slightly. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make this gray, the same gray that we had over here just to keep our colors consistent. And I'm going to go back into our character spacing option and just make this normal. And I'm gonna align it to the left, just like that. And I'm gonna do this for every single one of them just like I did with the text box and just make sure everything is aligned perfectly. So Control shift and just bring that down over here. Make sure it's all aligned, do the same thing, do the same thing, do the same thing, and do the same thing. And I could just copy one of these guys over here and just paste it, just like that. And of course, I'm gonna do this for all of them. So I'm gonna speed up the tutorial right here. All right, so obviously you can see that all of our text is a little bunched up, so we're just gonna space it. So I'm gonna highlight everything here and just, you know, move it to the right, just like this. And maybe I can just move it slightly to the left like this, just to make sure that everything is in a straight line. All right, and perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fix up some of the typos. Remember, Slack cow is two words. So there we go, over there and obviously there's some fine tuning to do just to make sure that everything is on a one line scale. So let's just highlight this and just move to the right again. All right, perfect. Everything looks fine from here out. Power point, boom. And that is the second step completed. Step three, add the wow effect. Melanie, I believe that wow effect that you're looking for is simply the act of adding icons into your PowerPoint slide. Icons can make or break your slide, remember that. So I picked out these icons in relation to uh, the subject matter. So obviously introduction comes in with the eye, you know, the art of making slides comes with a paintbrush, etc., etc., etc. etc. You're free to choose whatever icons you'd like. So really it's all up to you. Guys, I understand that not a lot of you have the insert icons button right over here in your PowerPoint software. 
I also understand that not a lot of you know how to bring in customizable icons and by customizable I mean you can click on an icon, go to format and you know changes its color, add an outline to it, do whatever you want. I understand not a lot of you have that sort of knowledge to bring it there, but don't worry, Slackout has you covered. Slackout did a tutorial on how to bring in any icons that you would like into your PowerPoint slide. And to find out how, just click on the info button in the top right of this video or click on the link in the description where we show you awesome ways to bring in your icons into your PowerPoint slide. But anyway, getting back into this, let's just align our icons into our circles. So I'm gonna bring this eye over here and just bring it here. Paintbrush, boom. Like this, coffee mug, no worries. Presenter, bam, star, no problem. And a little fork and knife here for lunch. And I'm just gonna highlight all of them, just like that. And head on over to Format, Shape Build, Make Them White. And if I'm really nitpicky, I can just simply go to Home, Arrange, Align, and then I'm just gonna click on Align Center to make sure that everything is aligned as perfectly as possible. Just, you know, set everything straight up from there. And that's our slide. Now, two things I didn't bring into this slide, the logo, you don't have to bring your company logo or whatever logo that you'd like into your slide unless you really need to. I mean, you could if you want, but really you don't need to. So I suggest you omit that, but in case you're pretty much told you have to bring it in, that's fine. Just bring it in and just pop it over into the corner like this and just, you know, you're good to go from there. It's fine. Um, second thing, you don't need to put agenda morning. Like you already have the times there. I think that that morning over there is a little bit redundant. So maybe you'd be better off if you just didn't put morning and just go with agenda instead because the people here can see the time as it stands here. Like they'd know that lunch in the afternoon and they'd know the introduction would be 8.30 to 8.45 in the morning. Do you see what I mean? All right, guys, that's it for today. I enjoyed this and I know that you guys enjoyed it as well. If you would like me to redesign one of your slides, just send me an email. Every single one of these guys sent me an email to help them with their redesign skills. I'm more than happy to help them with that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please do consider commenting and sharing it. If you didn't, then maybe give it a thumbs down. It's all up to you. Also, please do visit slidecow.com and sign up to our mailing list. And remember, we're giving you five free slide templates for free guys for free no cost at all that's it for me today i'll see you guys in the next one this is yo yo signing off bye bye